Hi guys! Welcome ulit sa aking channel. Ako pala si Teacher Elam. At nandito ako ulit para tulungan kayo sa math at iba pa ang mga subjects. Ngayon, ang papag-usapan natin ay ang number problems. Madalas ito lumabas sa civil service exam at mga college entrance exams like yung UPCAT or ASAT. So yung mga magtitake siya ng UPCAT or ASAT, Yung tutorial nito para rin po ito sa inyo, okay? Siya nga pala kung kailangan nyo ng mga materials, just subscribe to my channel and uh, ilagay nyo yung request nyo sa comment section. So magsisimula muna tayo sa mas simple, okay? Don't worry kung nalilito kayo or nahihirapan kayong sagutan. So umpisa lang yan, masasanay din kayo with practice, alright? For the first question, there are two numbers. The second number is three more than the first number. Their sum is 47. What are the two numbers? A. 21 and 24 B. 23 and 24 C. 22 and 25 And D. 3 and 44 So, pwede nyo i-pause yung video for 1 to 2 minutes. Okay? The correct answer is 22 and 25. Ang tawag sa ganitong klaseng problem ay number problem kasi naghahanap tayo kung anong numbers yung tinutukoy sa problem. So paano nga ba sagutan ang number problems? Pwede tayong gumamit ng Leia Technique para maayos natin masolve yung problem. So yung una natin gagawin sa Leia Technique ay first, list the given. So ililista natin yung mga nakalagay sa problem. Sabi kasi sa problem, there are two numbers. The second number is three more than the first number. So, para mas nalo natin maintindihan, pwede natin siyang i-translate to Filipino. Okay, meron daw dalawang numbers. Yung isa maliit, yung isang number mas malaki. So, merong maliit na number, merong malaking number. Yung malaking number, higit siya sa maliit na number ng tatlo. So, pwede nating sabihin na, since hindi natin alam yung unang number, yung maliit na number, si first number, sabihin natin na siya ay si X. Okay. Since hindi natin alam si second number, pero alam natin na mas higit siya ng tatlo sa first number, pwede nating sabihin na x plus 3. Kasi mas higit siya ng tatlo sa unang number. Okay. Yung second step sa Leia Technique ay isi-set up natin yung equation at isosolve natin ito. So, paano natin isi-set up yung equation? Sabi kasi sa problem, there are two numbers. The second number is 3 more than the first number. And yung sa third sentence sabi, their sum is 47. So itong third sentence, ito yung makakatulong sa pag-set up natin ng equation. Pag ipagsama natin yung first number, yung maliit na number, at saka yung second number, yung mas malaking number, yung resulta, yung sum niya ay 47. So ibig sabihin yung equation natin, x plus x plus 3 is equal to 47. Kasi yung first number ay si x, Yung second number ay si x plus 3. So, kung pagsamahin mo, equal siya to 47. So, yun yung equation natin. So, ngayon na meron na tayong equation, isolve natin siya. So, paano natin isosolve yung equation na ganito? So, we just combine the like terms. x plus x, you have 2x. Yung 3, ita transpose natin to the other side of the equation. Since 3 transpose natin, magiging negative siya. So, meron tayong 47 minus 3. Ngayon, para ma-solve si x, i-divide lang natin ito by 2. At kung ano yung ginawa natin sa left side ng equation, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa right side ng equation. So, 47 minus 3 is 44. The 2 will cancel out. And 44 divided by 2 is 22. So, x is equal to 22. For the last step sa Leia Technique, sasagutan natin yung tanong. So, babalikan natin. Meron daw two numbers. The second number is 3 more than the first number. Their sum is 47. So, sa fourth sentence, sabi, what are the two numbers? So, yun yung tanong, ano ba yung first number, ano ba yung second number? So, yung first number, alam natin na equal to x siya. And we have solved for x, which is 22. So, the first number is 22. For the second number, alam natin dito na yung second number ay x plus 3. And we already have solved for x, which is 22. So, the second number, which is x plus 3, is equal to 22 plus 3, which is 25. So, yung two numbers na yon ay 22 and 25. Okay, nakuha nyo ba? For the second question, there are two numbers. The second number is twice more than the first number. Their sum is 60. What are the two numbers? A, 25 and 45. B, 15 and 45. C, 30 and 30. D, 20 and 40. The correct answer is D. 20 and 40. So, paano naging 20 and 40? So, gamitan ulit natin ng Leia Technique. 
So yung LEA, it's an acronym which stands for List the Given for L, Set up the Equation, and Solve the Equation, and A for Answer the Question. So unang step, List the Given. So sabi sa problem, there are two numbers. So merong isang number, meron pangalawang number. And the second number is twice more than the first number. Ibig sabihin, yung second number ay mas higit ng dalawang beses sa first number. So pag doblehin mo yung first number, yun yung second number. Okay? So merong maliit na number, merong malaking number. So yung second step is set up natin equation and isosolve natin siya. So sabi sa problem, their sum is 60. So itong third sentence, that will tell us yung equation. So, ibig sabihin pag pinagsama yung dalawang numbers, yung kalalabasan, yung sum nila ay 60. Yung first number plus the second number, that's equal to 60. And we know that the first number, we assign that as x. And for the second number, we assign that as 2x. So, yung equation natin, x plus 2x is equal to 60. So, yun yung equation natin. Let's combine the like terms. So, x plus 2x, that is 3x, equal to 60. We solve for x we divide 3x by 3 and we do the same to the right side of the equation. We also divide 60 by 3. 3 will cancel out, leaving us with x and 60 divided by 3, that's equal to 20. And the last step, sa Leia technique, we answer the question. And if we go back to the question, the fourth sentence here, tinatanong niya, ano ba yung dalawang numbers na yon? So ano ba yung first number? Ano ba yung second number? So you see first number, that's equal to x. Yun yung x na hinanap natin. We already solved for x. That's equal to 20. So yung first number ay 20. Yung second number, that's equal to 2x. So 2 times x, which is 20, we have 40. For the third question, there are two numbers. The second number is 8 less than the other. The sum of the two numbers is 72. What are the two numbers? A, 22 and 34. B, 24 and 32. C, 30 and 42, and D, 40 and 32. The answer is D, 40 and 32. So, paano naging 40 and 32? So, i-apply ulit natin yung favorite technique natin for number problems si Leia. Okay, L, list the given. Yun na natin gagawin. Titingnan natin yung mga given sa problem. Sabi sa problem, there are two numbers. Merong first number at saka merong second number. Sabi dito, the second number is 8 less than the other. So si second number, para lang siyang si first number na binawasan natin ng 8. So bale, si first number, pwede nating i-assign as x. Yung second number, pwede nating siyang i-assign as x minus 8. Kasi yung second number, x lang siya na binawasan mo ng 8. For the second step, we set up the equation. Okay, so yung third sentence sabi, the sum of the two numbers is 72. So pag pinagsama mo yung first number at saka si second number, yung sum niya is 72. So ano yung equation natin? Ang equation natin ay x plus x minus 8 is equal to 72. Kasi yung first number mo ay si x, yung second number mo ay si x minus 8. Kapag pagsamahin mo sila, yung sum niya ay 72. So let's solve the equation. We combine like terms. Pagsamahin natin yung mga unknown variables. So x plus x, you have 2x. Yung negative 8, it transpose natin to the other side. So we have 72 plus 8, naging positive siya dahil transpose natin. So we have 2x is equal to 72 plus 8. 72 plus 8 is equal to 80. Now we solve for x. We divide 2x by 2 to get x. And since we divided 2x with 2, we also do the same to the other side of the equation. So 80 divided by 2, we have x is equal to 40. So for the last step, we answer the question. And yung inahanap yung first number, which na solve na natin, si first number ay si x, and x is equal to 40. Yung second number is x minus 8. So alam natin na si x ay 40, so 40 minus 8 is equal to 32. So yung dalawang numbers natin, 40 and 32. Alright, so yan muna for today. Just remember our Leia technique in solving number problems. If you want more exercises, just comment below and subscribe to my channel. Kung nagustuhan nyo naman yung video ko, don't forget to hit the like button. You may also share the video with your friends and classmates. Thank you all for watching.